The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the November 22nd, the February, the February, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that. It's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, well, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I am absolutely grateful for your presence here, but even more important than that, and that's this, that during the next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, but if you do pick up that phone and you dial in, nobody's going to answer, unfortunately. So we've got you covered here. Send me an email. Send that off early, if you will, steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject heading, it would be best if you could put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, like Ron, like McGuppy, like Dan, uh, like uh, Captain Triage, uh, folks, uh, you can send me any ping, private, public, it does not matter. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fabulous Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We begin our day with a slight mix out here. The mix coming from the semis, which are down about 18 points, about four tenths of a cent. The other U.S. indices, they're trading to the upside. Dow 255, S&P 15, NASDAQ 3, Russell's up 28, Tranny's up 150, gold's up about 32 bucks, silver 35 cents, light to recruit up 90 pennies. Natural gas is off 22 cents, the 30-year treasure is up 8 ticks, printed out at 116.12, and the 10-year up 3 at 109.19. Now, our leaders in the clubhouse dollar-wise to the upside, Texas Pacific Land Corp. Man, that's a big move. Almost a, a little over 9% or 140 bucks. MicroStrategy, 24 bucks, 6%. Restoration Hardware, 6%, 21 bucks. Tesla, 16 bucks, nearly 5%. Elastic NV, 15 bucks, 15, 16% out there. Our shakers to the downside led by Intuit up 31 bucks, nearly a 5% move there. MCOR Group down 26 bucks, nearly 5%. Palo Alto Networks, 19 bucks, nearly 5%. Reddit is off uh, 13 bucks, nearly 8%. And Vistra Corp is down $7. That's a trade out at $159. So we got movers and we've got shakers. Let's begin our day. First, by taking a look at a few charts on Stevie's black background screens out here. New York Stock Exchange, Advanced Client Austin, did close above zero yesterday, trade above zero today. We close above zero, tells us that buyers are the ones that are in control. On a closing basis, we're at new all-time highs in terms of the New York Stock Exchange. That's a bullish signal out there. If we take a look at the uh, spot fix index, well, I'll just go over to this chart here. We can see that it is below its 50-day exponential moving average. Now, the interesting thing here is uh, it has picked up these uh, bottoming signals, uh, these uh, parabolic SAR signals out here on the uh, spot fix. But the key level here for the VIX is going to be its 50-day, which is 1770. As long as price remains below that, well, then the S&P 500, the ES mini should continue to rally. If we take a look at um, just the overall general with regard to the markets, we take a look at how the Dow is trading in uh, major currencies out here. I've got that. Uh, where is it, Stevie? Uh, Dow priced in other currencies. We are at new all-time highs as we speak right now. The Dow priced in euros. The Dow priced in yen. The Dow priced in Aussie dollars. The Dow priced in Swedish krona. The Dow priced in Great British pound. The Dow priced in Swiss franc. Uh, the Dow, that's it. We're not at new all-time highs in terms of Chinese yuan or Canadian loonies uh, or U.S. dollars. Now, this is not the way any kind of major tops form. 
If we don't see markets trade higher in the other currencies, with the Dow having topped about uh, two weeks ago out there, I think it was on the 11th out there. So this bodes well for markets moving higher. What is this chart communicating to us? The flight to quality out here is in the U.S. dollar index. We'll take a look at that momentarily. It's in gold, and it is in terms of uh, uh, the U.S. equities out here. And that is likely to continue as long as um, we've got uh, major issues over in Europe. And we're going to take a look at the euro here, and we will see that the euro is getting crushed out there. It's all a sign of what's going on geopolitically out here. Uh, if we take a look at I'd shared this. Somebody wrote in yesterday. I forgot to get to it. But I had done a, a little bit of a presentation on uh, Tom's show with uh, Jacob uh, this Monday. And as I was just putting this chart here together, some of you may have seen it, some of you may not have seen it, the uh, lines that you're looking at represent the day following election day for each candidate. It's a daily time frame. The uh, line segments represent the four-year time period out there. And as I was putting it together, I was just kind of curious, what, what would it show? And uh, when I got here into the 2020 time frame, well, really was when Trump was elected in 2016, but it was really the 2020 time frame that I was just like almost felt off my floor my floor uh, how do you fall off a floor oh stevie can do that almost fell out of my chair out there to hit the floor because look at where price basically stopped it stopped right at the opening price this is during the uh, 2020 uh, crash out there now there was another bottoming signal but look at how price held that level and then quite frankly by the uh, time uh, he was out for his term is almost all the way the dow was almost all the way back to its all-time highs out there so what does that have to do now that's just look, looking at right now two samples but if we take a look at the dow a couple of days ago this is on a trading session of November the 19th. The gal pulled back. Where did it pull back to? It pulled right back to that breakout level. Now, that's going to be an important area to watch uh, for the next four years, 42,850. That, turns out, is a key potential key area of support. How do you know that, Stevie? Well, because I didn't just stop there. I went back further, so I'm pulling this chart back here. Here we'll see the Obama second term. You see on the Obama second term, price after election uh, day uh, moved south. But once we finally got above this level, we came above it uh, with clarity on January 2nd in uh, 2013. It was then off to the races out there. So an important level to watch out here. Here's Obama's first term. Very similar to what we took a look at in terms of Trump's first term out here. Now, first when Obama's – now that we're dealing with the 2008-2009 uh, you know, crash out real estate uh, uh, bubble out there. But what we can see here is price finally gets above, starts to give us a a, a signal that uh, price is going to start rallying to the upside back in October of 2009 as price moves above. And once you move above a resistance level, oftentimes price will come back and test it. And it did that exactly back on July 2nd, July, uh, June uh, uh, was a uh, July 1st and 2nd out there as price came back and test that level. So, uh, you know, somebody just asked if could I run through this again? I'm not going to go through the whole presentation, uh, although I've gone through most of it at this stage here. Here, take a look at the Bush term. I, I didn't, you know, when I when I sometimes when I just simply start investigating, looking for things out there, seeing if there's anything that you and I can identify to provide us with an edge out here. Take a look at uh, Junior Bush Junior second term. Price pulls back to test that opening price, so to speak, the day. And I'm just simply using where price open. You don't have to get this granular down to the tick, but this is important. So if we come back here right now, everybody should have on their pad of paper for the Dow, 42,850. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Before I switch over to my white background charts, let's take a look at the U.S. dollar index. I had mentioned that. Here's our four-panel U.S. dollar index. I got the December contract in the left-hand corner. The other uh, 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 charts that we're taking a look at are my synthetic version of the contract so that I can get profile levels. But here's what we know. On a daily time frame, prices trade above resistance right now, 106.99. You close above that, we're likely to head higher. On a uh, monthly time frame, a close above 105.57 next week, suggests to move up to 111. On a weekly time frame, we have a uh, consolidation breakout. It's measured move, takes us up into the 111 area. If we look at the uh, quarterly time frame uh its next upside price targets in the 113 area so it does appear to stevie that the uh, technical patterns are suggesting that the u.s dollar index is going to continue at higher and that next price level in about the 111.85 ish area out there is there anything else here that i can share with you i suppose there's always stuff that i can share with you but i don't see anything that sticks out right now so let's start taking on the requests that came in the first one coming in earlier this morning from Tom G. And Tom wants to take a look at entry areas for TNGX. We're going to get over to that screen here in a moment, as well as Coinbase out here. So we take a look at TNGX. Again, I don't, I don't even know what this is. I don't need to know what it is. Uh, only time I would need to know what the instrument is is if it's an ETF, because then we'd want to know what the underlying instruments are, uh, are doing out there. So now we take a look at TNGX. And what you're looking for is an entry point. So the first thing is there is a A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. That doesn't um, complete or get to the one-to-one -one price level until we get down to about 175 out there. So uh, that's not uh, showing us any kind of a bottom. However, um, come today, this afternoon at uh, 4 p.m. on a weekly basis, TNGX is going to go ahead and complete a TD9 count bottom pattern. So let me get rid of the A to B equals CD pattern to the uh, downside on the daily time frame. And let's kind of focus in on what the daily charts are telling us. In other words, where are our profile levels? What is this doing? And it turns out 
The price has a profile change in trend out here, Tom, on a daily time frame that formed on November 11th. Now, we're trading into a gap out here, but we are above some resistance levels out here. So going along with the weekly time frame chart, now, where's the entry point here? You know, if you can get price to pull back to 330, we're at 375 now. That would be an area to look at. That's the top of its daily profile. I don't have a signal to suggest that we're going to get back there, but that could be an area for you to look at. What should unfold out here is price should rally up towards the weekly weekly oscillator and change line currently printed at 604 the monthly time frame chart for tngx which is tango therapeutics uh, has found support at the uh, bottom of its profile 353 not as important tom today as it is next friday when we get to the end of the month but the right now let's assume that the monthly chart is going to hold support because we've got a nice td9 count bottom on the weekly time frame and a profile change in trend on the uh, daily so um you know as far as like a 30 minute time frame chart out here i don't have a bottom signal per se no patterns uh, but that's what i see when we take like a tngx so uh you know i don't recall what time period it was that you were looking to trade this instrument um but you know right about now might be the uh, time to consider that long trade for you since you've been looking at it you also want to take a coinbase coin is a ticker symbol again also looking for an entry point now here um Two days ago, what Coinbase did for its daily time frame was it formed a Rosemont Dimidicator top. And it did that towards the top of its profile, um, Tom, and that's up at the 335 level. We're trading below the oscillator and change line. Price rallied up into that this morning. So that's suggesting as long as price remains below that, that is 305.57, that we should get down to test the support area of its profile. There's a profile that formed yesterday. So you're looking for an entry point out here. The first one to consider, I would say, would be a 281.05. Don't use that right to the tick, but that would be to the tick right there. Now, the caution sign, Tom, is out big time. Why is that? Because you're going to go ahead and confirm a weekly TD9 count top today. Now, that pattern can't complete next week. You could see a higher high, but you've got a weekly topping pattern. You've got a daily topping pattern. I think you need to see what happens as price pulls back, if it does pull back to that support level on a daily time frame at 281.05. On a monthly time frame, beautiful rally. The price ran into resistance at its breakdown level. So the daily, the weekly, and the monthly charts are suggesting that we could see a further pullback. That first area to watch is 281.05. So I hope that helped you out with regard to a review of both TNGX and Coinbase out there. And as always, thanks so much for writing in. Ron, inside the Tigers, Dennis, looking for some type of trade, some type of shorter term trade in the euro. So and, I, and, and specifically, he wants to trade the uh, Euro futures contract. So that's what we've got up on our screen out here. So we take a look at this daily, weekly, and uh, monthly time frame. If you look at the weekly time frame, just simply going to explode. And we're going to take a look at the Euro 2 as well out here. We are in bar number 8 of a TD9 count. You've got breakout support here on the futures contract at 1.0216. Um, so I'm going to suggest that you watch that level out there as a potential area for a trade. 1.0216. The daily time frame is not giving us any kind of signal that we won't get down there. Um, so, you know, you've got large, you've got a nice A to B equals CD pattern. That retracement much less than a 0.618. So this should do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD pattern to the downside out there. But let's switch over and take a look at. So, so that's the first area that I'd be looking at. On the, uh, on the daily time frame for the Euro futures contract. Now, let's go actually take a look at the currency pair and see what uh, signals it is providing us. We talked about this over the last couple of days out here. I did go ahead and uh, notate the uh, one element that uh, we were discussing on the monthly time frame because it turns out these are important elements. For example, if you go all the way back to 2014, when Russia invaded Crimea, we have seen the euro croak to the downside since that time period. Well, if we take a look at the uh, time period here where we had um, Russia invade Ukraine, that area, as you can see, has acted as resistance out there. And we just simply have, you know, all rallies have run into resistance there. So what does that mean? That means you really need to watch that area. Where is that area? That area would be the... Uh, 1.1232. I'm not saying price is going to get up there. Why? Because we also have a new signal here. And it wasn't just Ukraine. It wasn't just the uh, the uh, U.S. missile 
uh, that uh, was fired, that Ukraine had fired into Russia. There were also some, I believe there was one from uh, the UK, uh, maybe uh, maybe something from NATO, I don't know. But that's an important demarcation. So I would identify that level is at about, because uh, I did this on the, at about the 1.06 area out here. Now, price on a monthly basis is trading below that red oscillator and change line. Uh, that is a dangerous thing. Uh, that's a, that is telling me, I think that is telling us that uh, the euro wants to go revisit its lows out here. Now, over what time period? Those are the lows from back in 2022. Uh, I would say that's anywhere between the range of uh, uh, 0.95 all the way up to 1.19. So Europe is on sale out there. Um, now, that's on the monthly time frame. So I want to make sure I gave you the bigger picture. Why? Because I think what you would really want to do is sell any type of counter trend rally versus try to take a long position. But that's just Stevie's thinking. Now we take a look at the euro for the daily time frame out here. Um, now it looks it looks very similar to the uh, futures contract. Uh, if I open this up even further, here you'll see the one to one A to B equals CD price projection, which we're beyond right now. So certainly this is gonna do much, much more than a one to one price projection to the downside. What you'd be looking for here, Ron, would be a bullish reversal candle. If you get a bullish reversal candle on the daily time frame, price should rally up towards its oscillator and change line. So right now I don't see that uh, move with regard to taking a long position and watch for a bullish reversal candle on the daily time frame. Steve Rhodes with TFNN, I'll be right back. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading. Trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. 
They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a ticker symbol VUZI. It's for Dan inside our Tiger's Den out here. And what I've got up on my screen right now is the weekly time frame. This is, as you can see, has had one of the strongest weeks in uh, quite some time out here. Now, what this is doing as we speak right now, it is trading above and will close above or should close above the top of its weekly profile. That's at 144. So if it doesn't close above that, well, then you know just how key of a resistance level that is. Of course, close above that resistance level this week and then next week would tell you about a change in trend for the weekly time frame from a profile perspective. And that would then suggest a, a move up to 242. So as long as price close above 144 today and next Friday out there, I would say on a weekly basis, 242 is your target. Daily time frame is taking out a swing point. This is the swing point on a daily basis from the trading day of October 15. 748,000 shares traded then. Today so far in just uh, two hours of trading, 1.2 million shares. Now, there's no A to B equals C D to the upside. This was really a consolidation. If we pull this back and open it up, we ought to see that consolidation pattern out here, so to uh, speak. So it would look something like this. So let's just draw this in so we can give a uh, give ourselves a measured move. So the top of the consolidation, pretty much right about there. Bottom of the consolidation, pretty much right here. So when you have a uh, breakout of a consolidation, which we have at this moment in time, it also gives us a measured move price objective. It's equal to or greater than the consolidation. Oh, I gotta, I gotta do something technically here called scrunch. I gotta scrunch the chart in order to get up there. So this is giving you a price objective of about 212 from a measured move standpoint. So we got 212 there, and on the weekly time frame, we had 242. That weekly time frame, again, requires a second close above 144, that being next Friday. Your resistance on a monthly time frame out here, Dan, is uh, the uh, sell zone of its monthly profile. And that's between the level, oh, that didn't work, did it? between a buck 89 and 215 out there. So that's your next resistance level when we take a look at that monthly time frame. So I hope that provided you with the information that you were looking for. This is day number three to the upside that we have out here. Uh, let's take a look at its dance steps. And uh, rallies typically last about three days, three to four days out here. So I would say you're nearing a point where we could see or should see a retracement. Maybe that starts Monday. Maybe it's not till Tuesday out there. Nothing wrong with that. So that's what we see when we take a look at B-U-Z-I. McGuppy inside the Tiger's Den wanted to take a look at Nordic American tankers. To, excuse me. The question is, what are the support levels? So on a daily time frame, price is trading below support. Support was at 302. Now, this uh, does not have a bottom pattern. It did have a Rhodesment indicator bottom. But two days ago, the bottom of that hammer candle was taken out as well as support, profile support, that is. And we're traded back into a swing point from the trading day of uh, November 12th. Five million shares traded yesterday was 2.6 million shares. Today so far, 431,000 shares. So we're pulling back into that swing point with lighter volume. Now you sort of need a sign of strength. The weekly chart out here, you're looking for support. There is none. We're trading below profile support. By the way, resistance now would be the bottom of the daily profile, 302. Resistance on a weekly time frame would be its oscillator and change on a 329. I do not see a bottom pattern here. Yes, there's an A to B equals CD pattern. So bullish reversal candle on that weekly time frame would provide a buy the D point pattern. On a monthly time frame, we're in bar number eight. We're inside the profile. It could form a bottom between this month and the next two out there. But since we don't have a bottom pattern or signal on the daily or the weekly time frame, I would say the price target level that the monthly chart wants to seek is down in the 223 to 244 level. So Nordic American tankers does not look good at all. If we take a look at its dance steps, consecutive days up, consecutive days down out here. Um, we've only seen one two-bar rally since the high from the beginning of October out there. Uh, so, yeah, this is in a, uh, 
in a world of trouble. And again, no bottoming patterns that we see at this moment in time for Nordic American tankers. McGuppy, I hope that helped you out. Uh, we had a request from Nicholas to take a look at Microsoft. Um, and his question is really short-term oriented. <coughs> Wondering if Microsoft <coughs> will get back to today's highs. So how are we going to figure that one out? Well, first of all, Microsoft is trading below profile support, its red oscillator and change line. So not the bull not the most bullish of tick signals. Same thing is true for the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame suggesting a run for the uh, 40451 level. Daily time frame is suggesting another run for its breakout area at 40770. Uh, the monthly time frame, we've got a Rose Bentham indicator top there. So will it get back? So now we got to really just kind of nail down some kind of short-term time trading chart out here. Let's look at a 30-minute chart for Microsoft. In the case of Microsoft, right now, it's trading below. It's 30 minutes. I don't know where it's going to be at uh, 12 noon, but if it's below 4.1283, then Microsoft suggests that it gets back to test the lows from 11 o'clock back uh, yesterday morning, and that would be down at about the 4.10 level. So this is not the 30-minute chart is not suggesting that we get back up to its highs. Let's go down to a 15-minute time frame chart. Uh, disregard the oscillator and change line. Here we are also trading below profile. So at this moment in time, uh, what I would have to say, uh, Nicholas, is I don't see any signals from intraday charts out here that suggest that Microsoft will rally back to today's high. Doesn't mean that it can't. It's just simply the tools that I use to help us identify support and resistance and or a bottom or a top out there. We just don't see those signals out there. So I do hope that that helps you out. We had a request to take a look at um, CTRA, also looking for support or resistance, and this is from Alton. So we take a look at CTRA. Support, first of all, let's take a look at what this has done on a daily time frame. Three days ago, uh, price negated a TD9 count uh, top in one single day. Tells you about a very strong upward momentum move. Where is price going to head to? Well, right now, when I look at the weekly time frame chart, I would say it's headed back towards its swing point from back on April the 5th, which is also a TD9 count top. The swing had 34 million shares. We're close to getting there. The low of that uh, swing is at 27.72. The high of the current swing point or the current uh, bar that we're in is 27.69. Volume is 28 million shares. So we're pushing towards a... Um, a candle, weekly candle, has 34 million shares. I don't know if it's going to have the volume or not uh, today, uh, but it looks to me like uh, well, first it's trade above all resistance, 2453, the top of its profile as well. It's basically that oscillator and change line. So this looked like it wants to head higher out there. Your question was support and resistance. Price is trading above resistance out here. The next resistance would be going back to swing point candles, such as what you and I did when we took a look at the weekly time frame chart. You can also see a bit of a consolidation on that monthly time frame. The top of the consolidation, pretty much at about, I would say, at about the uh, 2891 area out there. So that's another area for you to watch as all. But Alton, you're in this position. It looks muy bueno. I don't see a reason to, uh, I don't see a reason to sell, at least just yet. We'll be right back, folks. We'll take a look at IONQ for Dan in the den. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We're taking an Ionic, I-O-N-Q out here. We look at the monthly time frame. So our month is going to go ahead and uh, complete next Friday, day after Thanksgiving. A week from today, if we look at the high out here from back in November of 2021, there was volume on that bar at 206, 206 million shares. The high of that bar is 35.90. That's where price is going to go target. Why? Because when we take a look at this month, we're not even over with the month and it's 548 million shares. When you close inside a swing point with volume, it increases the odds that price will test that high. So the very first thing we look at a monthly time frame, this Ionic tells us it wants to head higher. The weekly time frame had completed a TD9 count top last week. Uh, I'm assuming we will close above its high today. It's high being 2948. We're 3126 right now. That would negate that TD9 count top. Tell us about a strong upward momentum move on the weekly time frame. That would most certainly, as certain as we can be, get us up to that monthly high that we just took a look at. On a daily time frame, the daily time frame will uh, yesterday negated a TD9 count top. Yes, there's a road's meant to indicator signal. That requires a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top out here. We don't have that. Daily says higher, weekly says higher. Monthly says higher. Now, the 195-minute time frame chart uh, would need a bearish reversal candle to confirm a 195-minute Rhodes momentum indicator top. But even if it did that, um, prices found support at that oscillator and change line. So you would really need to see a close below that oscillator and change line for that 195-minute time frame. 3080 is a number in order to suggest to move back to 2805. You've got a TD9 count top. For the 130-minute time frame, that is in place. It will complete on this bar, which is at 1350, so 150 in the afternoon. We are trading with inside a profile. Your key level of support here, Dan, let me just make sure of this. It's between 2807 and 2870. That is a bullish structured uh, profile for the 130 minute time frame chart. That is its buy zone. So that's a possibility. It needs price to close below that green oscillator and change line. We have a TD9 count, Rhodes momentum indicator top for the 65 minute time frame, a bearish structured profile. That would suggest that price could get back to support, which is at 3001. 
So that's a level to watch. The 30-minute time frame chart, which has a roads momentum indicator top, is trading below profile support. It looks like this could be, uh, uh, if we close below 31.61, uh, 16 minutes from now, we'll have two consecutive candles below that. That would add to the idea of lower price stand, in, you know, intraday that we're taking a look at. And that would then say to Stevie that 30.65, which you identified correctly, would be that next possible stop to the downside. And that is the bottom of the 15-minute time profile. So that's using Ionic for multiple time frames, understanding what each of them tell us, because the monthly, weekly, and daily say, I want higher price at this stage here. And now we're just working it off you know, these short-term tops on these other time frame charts, more specifically the 130, the 65, the 30, and the 15. So I would be watching 3065. Um, yeah, that's, so that's about the best that I've got out there. But I think you picked it up. And uh, so I just wanted to, uh, to add to uh, anything by looking at all those charts out there. So as always, thanks so much for the request. We've got another request. It's the last one that I've got out there. So uh, I take that. Oh, I see ENVX. Thank you, Bob, for that. Uh, so let's go take a look at Hood. This is for S&P inside the uh, Tiger's Den. And let me get back to that chart, H -O, o D. I believe that is Robin Hood, if I'm not mistaken. So Robin Hood on a daily time frame uh, pulled back this morning to test and reject both the top of its profile at 34.32 and at uh, 34.52, the oscillator and change line. I don't see any kind of a topping signal. So uh, uh, Hood should rally from here on a daily time frame. On a weekly time frame, we do not have any kind of a topping signal. Price should rally. The issue that uh, Robinhood is dealing with here, SNP, as you can see, comes from the monthly time frame chart. In the monthly time frame chart, this had a nice TD9 count bottom. That pattern was forming back in uh, 2022, June of 2022. And now price has made its way all the way up to that breakdown level. And that breakdown level is at 38.17. That's the area, SNP, and anybody else who's trading Robinhood, that price must clear in order to suggest that it's getting ready to rally. Now, based upon the daily and the weekly time frame charts, I would say, SNP, that Robinhood is going to go retarget that 3817 area out there. So I hope that provided you with the information that you were looking for. Uh, the next request was ENVX. Let's get that fired up. And that is coming from, who was looking for that? Bob in Spokane. So let Stevie get a little swig there. Let these charts here populate. And I look at the daily time frame. What I see out here, uh, Bob, is a consolidation with inside its daily profile. That range at support at 857, resistance up at 964. Do I see a bottom pattern? Well, there was a TD9 count bottom that formed all the way back here on uh, September the uh, 10th. And what we have out here is we have tests of that swing point. Let's check out the volume. That was 8.2 million shares. Test and reject with ooh, 29 million shares. So that said we'd be back down there. Well, we were back down there on the trading day of with 8.6 million on November the 15th. So 8.6 was testing 8.2. Um, did we get back down there again? I believe we did. And it was this trading day of November 19th. Three million shares were going against the swing high of 8.2 million shares. That was a signal at, that Thomas taught us. If you can't bust them down and you got to take a look at the volume, then it's time to bust them up. And that's exactly what uh, ENVX is doing here, Bob. And to bust them up, it'd be 964 is going to be that next battle. Maybe Price is able to take that out. If it does... Now, what you're really looking for would be a close above the weekly oscillator and change line. So that next battle would be somewhere just slightly above 9.93. But if price could clear that, then odds would favor move up to 10.98. Monthly time frame chart, not so good. We've been below the oscillator, uh, below profile support and a oscillator and change line for now four consecutive months out here. But uh, daily, you've got a test rejection of a swing point. If you can get a profile change in trend, then you likely go fill this gap out there. That would take you to the lows of October 30th, or about $10.41 out there. So, Bob, that's what I see when I take the ENVX. I see one more thing out here to share with you. This is going to be day number five of consecutive moves higher. Now, that's a bullish signal out there. We can see we had another five-day move, and that was back on the trade day of September 16th. And that led to a three-bar move to the downside. Typically, your moves to the downside are two to three bars. They certainly can be four bars out here. So with this being bar number five to the upside, it looks to me like you should be prepared 
for at least a two-day pullback out here for ENVX. It's not a guarantee, but when we take a look at its dance steps, look at the patterns out there, that's certainly what those patterns are suggesting to you and I. So hope that helped you out. And as always, thanks so much for your request out here. Um, no other requests that I see at this moment in time. Let's go see what's going on with uh, Intuit out here. INTU, that's the leader in a clubhouse to the downside of uh, about $30.50, a 4.5% move out there. So let's just see what that has as we go into breakout here. We'll hear the music in about 25 seconds or so. So we take a look at Intuit. Intuit is testing a prior daily swing point from the trading session of November 19th. Volume there, 2.5 million shares. So far in the day, we've done 1.5. So it's pulling back into that swing point with volume. I would say at least what Intuit should do is get back down to test the uh, profile support at 641.93. You are going to get a uh, weekly Roadsmith indicator top. That could suggest that over time, price is going to pull back to 605.02. And there's a TD9 count top on the monthly time frame that is also still in place out here. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at the intraday charts here for the ES Mini. Uh, first, we start off with the daily time frame. Again, we have been trading, or it has been trading below the bottom of its bullish structured profile. 
I've done it for one, two, three, four, uh, four consecutive sessions out there. We closed back inside the profile yesterday, but where price is running into resistance, where it should, if it's only a counter trend move. And I counter trend move with pine resistance at 59.87. We close above 59.87 today. Odds favor we make a move to 60.53. Now, you do have the Dow, as we talked about, trade at new all time highs in most of the major currencies out there. So that's kind of adding to the idea that we uh, could or should see a further rally. Watch that key level that we just looked at in the daily time frame for the ES Mini at session end. Five hour time frame chart. Nice Rosemont indicator bottom. And we're seeing here basically a series of higher highs and higher lows out there. So that's bullish. That suggests a run up towards its TD9 count breakdown level. That would get us to 6025. At 6025, we also have the four hour TD9 count breakdown level. Looks very similar to the five hour chart. Same thing with the two hour time frame chart out there. Um, if we look at what to really watch for today, Sunday, or what have you, it's going to come from the 30 minute time frame chart. The 30 minute time frame chart is one with the clearest topping signal that we saw this morning, and that was the TD9 count pattern. The TD9 count pattern, bar number eight, formed at 10, bar number nine, at 1030, price pulled back and tested support. The bar following nine, uh, bar number nine rallied up. Then we pulled back, we tested that green house and change line. So that's telling Stevie that price wants to go up and try to take out that high. That high being that you're watching your short term is 59.93 and a quarter out there. So it's a 30 minute time frame chart that provides us with the best signal as we can speak right now. So that's what you should be watching for. So folks, thanks so much for all of your assistance this week, whether it was emails that you sent in or each of you inside the Tiger's Den that have helped me point in a direction or so. So I would like everybody to have just simply the uh, a fantastic weekend. Uh, we are headed into uh, Thanksgiving. Should be one of the best weeks of the year as far as DB is concerned. And uh, so be safe out there. And I'll look forward to seeing you on Monday. Take care.